Oh. This would take forever. Wait, swift, swift adoption. The letter? Yeah. Oh. To whom it may concern, I, Raven Swift, mother of Jameson Swift, do hereby give Mr. and Mrs. Draper Scott full and complete permission to raise my son as their own with complete rights to make any and all decisions on his care, education, and upbringing, and to initiate whatever proceedings they deem necessary for legal guardianship or adoption. I declare that I am Jameson Swift's only legal parent and make this statement in full confidence and trust that April and Draper Scott will make ideal parents. Maggie, would you get a hold of Mrs. Scott for me, please? Yeah, you better use the new number. Okay, thank you. April read the letter to me. I hope you don't mind. No, not a bit. How did it sound to you? It sounded great. Yeah? Raven gave it all up. Oh, beautiful. She gave April and Draper complete permission to do whatever she they wanted with us. We have got her. We have got her cold. Hello, April. Logan, I was going to call you this morning. Well, Deborah is here in the office right now. She told me you found Exhibit A. You are a terrific lady. You know that? You got it all. You got brains. You got looks. You got the letter. Deborah said Logan, you two... Just, just, just a second, April. What? I've got to run. I forgot I meant to meet Calvin for breakfast. I'll see you later. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll go over this Pendleton stuff tonight, and I'll get back to you... tomorrow morning. It looks good. Okay. Uh, See you See you. Thank you for coming in. I'm sorry, Deborah had to leave. Anyway, I was saying, she told me you two read the letter last night, and it sounds thoroughly incriminating. Um, yeah, I don't know what the court is going to make of it, but I'll tell you, I could definitely feel that, uh, well, the Raven, I know exactly what she meant to do. It's quite obvious that she gave us Jamie without any stipulations. Oh, we have got her. That, that's, that'll do it. That really will do it. No, I've seen custody cases decided on far less evidence of indifference than that. Listen, uh, Logan, you do understand that this letter is only indicative of what Raven's feelings were several months ago. It doesn't mean she feels the same way today. Uh-huh. Well, if she wants to try and make that point in court, I'm sure she's welcome to do it. No, I take that back. She is not welcome. I'm hoping the fact that I have the letter is going to discourage her from even wanting to set foot in a courtroom. Yeah, well, that certainly would be best for everyone involved. Best for Jamie, that's for sure. Which reminds me... Later today, I'm getting a little piece of paper which says officially whose little boy he is. What are you talking about? What kind of paper? I won the paternity suit. <sighs> Raven didn't fight it, so it went through the courts a lot lot faster than I expected. Oh, Logan, I'm so glad. At least that's all out of the way. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't give me the legal right to take him back, but it does put me on an equal footing with Raven if a custody battle is necessary. Well, maybe this letter will mean it's totally unnecessary. Hope so. I really hope so. It all depends, though. Look, um, would you mind if I came by later this evening, picked up that letter? Um, well, actually, I have a better idea. I thought I might deliver it in person. Well, that is a better idea. Yeah, well, Mrs. Goodman said she'd take care of Julia for a while, and I really got to get out of this house. Oh, then why don't we have lunch? I'd love it. Listen, I will leave here just as soon as Mrs. Goodman gets here. Terrific. I will look forward to seeing you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Concern, I, Raven Swift, mother of Jameson Swift, do hereby give Mr. Mrs. Draper Scott full and complete permission to raise my son as their own. Oscar said you walked right past him. 
Well, I didn't know I needed to be announced. Everyone is announced, Raven. It is their job. Even your best friend. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, but I, I really don't have any time to socialize. I have to leave. Oh, please, please. Can I just go out here for a little while? Raven, so I'm meeting you? someone downtown. Oh, well, then you probably are getting a babysitter, uh, right? Yes, Mrs. Goodman should be here any minute. Well, great. I'll wait here with you for it. It's so beautiful out. I can't believe it. Is that the letter? Yes, it is. I found it last night. What are you going to do with that? You're going to give that to Logan, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. I knew it! I knew it! You've already made up your mind. You don't care if I lose Jamie. Logan... Raven, I want you to... April, to... one of the reasons I was willing to give Jamie to you is because I thought you couldn't have children. I felt so sorry for you, and what do I get for it? Now you're going to use that letter against me to take my baby Raven, away. Raven, you... What if it were Julia? What if it were Julia? How would you feel if one of your friends used something like that against you? Raven, you gave Jamie away once. Once? What does once matter? I love him now, and I want him now. What kind of a mother are you? April, how can you do this to me? How can you be so vindictive as to make me pay for one little impulsive mistake the rest of my life? Raven, I'm not trying to punish you. If you give Logan that letter, I will lose every chance I have of getting Jamie back. You might as well stick a knife right in my heart. How can you hate me so much? I don't hate you. Well, then why can't you believe I've changed? I'd love to believe it, but the fact is I already know what kind of a parent Logan is. The only reason you're on Logan's side is because he's Draper's best friend. That has absolutely nothing to do with Look, it. I realize that you have certain loyalties, but don't you think you ought to do what's right? I am doing what's right. What's right for Jamie. Ever since Jamie has been with me, he's been a very happy little boy. I've taken very good care of well, him. Well, he needs very good care taken of him all the time, not just when the mood strikes you. I'm going to be a full-time mother from now on. Raven, you had that chance, and let's face it, you blew it. This letter wouldn't even exist if one day you hadn't woken up and decided that that baby was just a little too much trouble Come for you. Come on, you know what was happening to me. At the time, I was upset. I didn't know what I was doing. And besides, don't you think that you could raise a baby a lot better than a man? Logan oh. hires babysitters all the time. Logan spends as much time as he possibly can with that baby. Which isn't much, and you know it. He's a workaholic. He's in that office every day and many nights. There are mothers who work too, Raven. As a matter of fact, I plan on going back to work myself someday. Julia will be your first priority. Jamie is Logan's second priority. Why won't you believe me? The most important thing in my life is my son. I don't even have anything else. You know, Raven, it's, it's really funny. I, I mean, I, th I think you really believe what you're saying, at least for the moment. I mean every word of it. My son is my entire future. And if you give Logan that letter, you'll make me miserable the rest of my life. I've already promised Logan the letter. Well, why can't he come over here? Why can't he come over here right now while I'm here? Please, will you just give me a chance? Raven, I don't even know if he would come over here. But don't you think this is a little too important for you two just to decide by yourselves? Please, April. Yes, Maggie. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. April, how are you? What's up? Um, good. Listen, I called to tell you about a change in plans. Well, what's the matter? Can't get a sitter? Raven's here. She is? What does she want? Oh, psh, never mind. I shouldn't have asked that. You're not going to give it to her, are you? No, of course not. Well, what is it then? You can tell me. Well, I just thought, uh, maybe you could come over here and the three of us could sit down and discuss this. Okay, I'll be right over. <laughs> Thank you for making that call. Raven, I hope you uh, realize that this... I haven't changed my mind I, about giving Logan the letter. You do realize that, don't you? We'll see. This isn't a contest, you know, where the uh, person with the best argument is going to win the letter. Nor do I want this to turn into a shouting match. I'll be very civilized. I want the three of us to sit down like, like mature adults and to make a, a realistic appraisal of the situation. Fine. What I would like to come out of this meeting is a, a, a compromise so that a very messy custody battle will be unnecessary. Great. <sighs> Could I 
miss you, Julia. What? I haven't seen her in a while. I probably don't even remember what she looks like. Oh, Raven, look, as, as much as I would love to show off my daughter, she happens to have a habit of this time of day. She sleeps. Um, it's just that ever since I've been back with Jamie, I, I really like watching babies. <laughs> you know, the way they learn about themselves and look at the environment. It's just fascinating. Maybe I could just go up and take a peek. I'll be real quiet. No. No, I don't think that would be a very good idea. Uh, listen, uh, if you'll excuse me for a second, I think I will check on it. Okay, uh, could I use your telephone? I want to call my babysitter. Uh, Charlie, I hope it's not one of those nasty people asking for money. Ah, uh -uh, it's a lady. And by the sound of her voice, I'd give her anything she asked for. No, Charlie, never give a lady anything she asks for. Hello. Oh, Raven, you were supposed to be down here and give me a helping hand. Look, forget about that. I'm in April's right now, and I have something very important to say, but I have to speak fast, so be very quiet and listen. Good morning. It was a lovely day. I thought we should meet out here. It's funny. I feel there's a dark cloud hanging over my head. Oh, really? It's probably just guilt, because you know it was wrong to try to take away my little baby. Uh, Raven, Raven, we came here to uh, discuss this to work out a compromise. Yeah, if we're just going to try and goad each other into a fight, uh, there's no point in my being here. I'll leave Logan, now. wait a minute. Now, I love him. In the short time that we have been together, I've grown very attached to him, and I do not want to give him up. I've heard all this before. I mean, your inflection is better, but then you've had time to rehearse, What do it? I have to do to prove to you that I love my baby? How about letting him come to a home where he's wanted? He's got that. I am now legally Jamie's father. Cliff has dug up some very good precedents for me, plus I've got you on a charge of abandonment. I stand a very good chance of shooting you down in court, and that letter clinches it. Now, why am I here? What do you want to talk to me about? Look, I'm willing to be reasonable. I'll believe that when I see it. Perhaps we can work out some sort of visitation rights, maybe shared custody. Now, that may be fair to you both, Logan. What do you think about that? It's up to a court to decide that once it's seen the facts. And it won't have seen the facts until it sees that letter. It's part of the evidence. It's part of the truth. Isn't it? Yes. I'll get the letter. You must be very proud of yourself. You sure did a job on her. I'm sure you're proud of the job you did on me when you took Jamie out of the hospital. All I did was go in and pick up my poor sick baby after you and your police babysitters nearly let him die. You really think you're going to get him away from me, don't you? That's exactly what I intend to do, yes. You have half the town on your side, including April. April's on Jamie's side. You really won her over completely, didn't you? Tell me something. Did you do it with just tea and sympathy, or was there a little bit of uh, moonlight and roses? I'm sorry. Logan, why do you have to be so hard on me? I know I've done a lot of rotten things, but I'm different. Different? That's funny. I look at you and I see the same woman I made the mistake of marrying. If I look like the same woman, you must still want me. <laughs> oh, Raven. The only thing I want from you is that you take very good care of Jamie until this custody suit is settled. All right. All right, I will turn him over to you in terrific shape. There you see, I've admitted it. You win, I lose. Let me see that. That's a forgery. Oh, Raven, it's Forge. the same Raven! You've certainly won her over completely. Tell me something. How'd you do it? Was it uh, tea and sympathy or perhaps a little moonlight and roses? I'm sorry, Logan. Why do you have to be so hard on me? I know I've done a lot of rotten things in my life, but I'm different. Different? That's funny. I look at you and see exactly the same woman I made the mistake of marrying. If you see the same woman, you must still want me. No, oh, Raven. All I want from you is that you take very good care of Jamie until this custody suit is settled. All right. All right, I will return him to you in good condition. There, you see, I admit it. You win and I lose. 
Let me see that. That's a forgery. Oh, it's the real letter, forgery. Raven. Raven! Do you see it? Yeah. Oh, by the corner. Write us down. I'm going to go get it. All right. It wasn't deliberate, Logan. Not deliberate? You're not going to get away with this. I'm going to find that letter. I'm going to make you eat it in open court. My God, Raven, you planned this whole thing, didn't you? I mean, you didn't want Logan up here to talk about any letter. It was all part of your little scheme. You don't think I was really going to let Logan keep that letter, do you? Oh, he'll keep it, Raven. He will find it, he will pick it up, and he'll keep it within five minutes. Well, how could I have planned this? If I had planned this, I would have picked a plan that worked. Well, what did you expect? That the wind was going to carry your letter right over the river? My God, you are contemptible. Spare me your speeches. If you were in my shoes, you'd do the same damn if thing. If I were in your shoes, I never would have abandoned my baby to begin with. So you think I'm doing this whole thing just to hurt Logan? The idea did occur to me. Oh, you can't possibly believe that I love Jamie just as much as you love Julia. Well, I don't know how that exactly is supposed to be meant now. Is that, a, is that a compliment to you or an insult to me? He is my son. He's my own flesh and blood. Of course I love him. This time, spare me, Raven. Spare it's me. true. At heart, we're the same. You would kill for your child, and so would I. Haven't the things that I have done to get Jamie back and keep him proven to you my sincerity? All that has proved to me is that you will bend over backwards to cause a lot of trouble for a lot of people. Well, I am going to keep custody of Jamie. And you can bet every cent that your mama gave you on that. Do you know, Raven, I have never met anyone like you in my whole entire life. No one can run that hot and that cold. The first year of your baby's life, you couldn't even acknowledge his existence, and now you expect me and everybody else to accept the belief that that baby is the driving force in your life? What is it? Tell me, what is it that you stand to gain from all of this? All of those months in London, without my baby, made me realize how much I needed him. <sighs> now I have to go, because if Logan doesn't find that letter, he's going to throw me off the terrace. Before I go, though, I have to ask you one more favor. I don't believe you. You honestly do not know when to quit. Well, forget it. What's the use anyway? You're on his side. I don't have a chance. It's just that I thought you would understand. Hello, Kimberly. Charlie. Allow me to propose a toast to the unicorn. May it soon become our horn of plenty. Well, I'll drink to that, Elliot. To us. Hello. <laughs> um, I've talked to you. Hey, excuse me, I'd better pick sure. up some booze, huh? Uh, would you care for a drink? No, no, no. What happened? Oh, uh, I did as you asked. Did you go to April's apartment? Yes, uh, I parked the car outside. Did yes. you see the letter come down? Oh, I did not blink as I followed its path. Did you see where it landed? You know, the way the wind was blowing for a minute, I thought it was going to land in the river. Thinking it landed in the river isn't good enough. I have to know. Oh, but fortunately, Raven's declaration of independence from motherhood landed just a few blocks from the apartment. Oh, uh, would this be what you're looking for? <laughs> what is the rush? I'm curious to see how eloquently you abdicated your responsibility to your son. To whom it may concern, I, Raven Swift, mother of Jemison Swift, do hereby give Mr. and Mrs. Draper Scott full and complete permission to raise my son as their own with complete right... Ooh, this is hard stuff. <laughs> the crowd has gone as far as Charlie. Well, you could worry, Mr. Dawn. Won't here have a drink. Look, this goes pulling a late crowd. You'll see in a couple of hours there's going to be nothing but wall-to-wall -wall people in here. I certainly hope so. I know I'm right. Hello. So there you are. Oh, uh, well, where else should I be? Well, we belong at the Unicorn. Well, that's right. It's your big opening night. How's it going? What did I expect you? Now, that is a good question. Don't play games with me, Raven. I'm not playing games. I have a baby to take care of. I have to hire a babysitter, you know. That's nonsense. That's never stopped you before. I pretend I didn't hear that. 
I'd be disconsolate if the woman of my dreams wasn't at my side at the night of my big success. I will be there. I will be there. It's not much to ask, Raven, considering the favor I did you. I know, and I'm very grateful. I couldn't believe how happy I was when I saw that letter burning up. Now, see my babysitters here. I have to go. I'll be expecting you within an hour. Okay, look, why don't you find some little groupie to play with until a real woman gets there, huh? Don't give me too much leash. Cliff, right on time. <coughs> oh, uh, hi, Raven. It's so nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sit down, please. Well, it's uh, nice to see you, especially the way you're dressed. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, uh, dressed to the nines, aren't you? Or, I suppose with inflation, it's dressed to the tens. <laughs> Or oh, the Mater D is going to see some spiffy-looking couple come into the coach house. Was... Bet you'll give us a table right up front. I was real impressed that you made a reservation at the most expensive place in Monticello. Well, that's the advantage of being associated with the most prestigious law firm in Monticello. When the landlady comes around and wants a wrench, she'll let, let you live a month on credit. <laughs> you know, you're being awfully nice to me. Do you expect me to be nice to you in return? I want you to know that I'll respect you as much in the morning as I do now. <laughs> Maybe more. Look, I have some martinis in the refrigerator. You know, I've been thinking, uh, there's really no reason to spend all that money when all we really want to do is have a good time, right? Yeah, you know, somehow I never took you for a cheap date. Oh, I'm not cheap. You'll pay with your heart. But I was thinking that uh, maybe I could cook up a little something here and the two of us could go dancing tonight. Well... I suppose we could do that. I know just where we can go to, the unicorn. They turned it into a disco. A disco? Yes, and it's opening night tonight, so we can go over there. I, I don't want to do... Um, I thought we could have a nice, quiet evening together and talk about things. What things? Well, whatever came up. Mm-hmm, like Swift versus Swift. Hey, did I say that? So that's why you invited me to dinner. Did Logan put you up to this? Oh, no, 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 he didn't, really. Yeah. Here you are trying to ply me with martinis so you can get information out of me for your case. No, no, no. Uh, look, Raven, I just want to have dinner with you. Really. I was thinking we might talk about the case. If it came up, mm -hmm. who knows, we might even have a settlement. You have a lot of nerve. Look, I think maybe I better leave, okay? No. No, I don't want you to leave. I admire your enterprise. Really? <laughs> Yes, please. Come on, sit down. Here. Here you go. <clears throat> so, tell me, uh, have you talked to your client? Well, it wasn't exactly what you'd call a conversation. He must be very upset with me. Well, yes, uh, he is. He, he didn't like that little uh, thing that you pulled with the letter this morning. Somebody told me he ran all over the neighborhood looking for the letter. Did he find it? Not a trace. It was so silly. I mean, I had this letter right in my hand. And then this big gust of wind came and just blew it right over the ledge. Really? Yeah. So that's not the story that Logan told me. Don't you believe me? Gee, Clifford, I'm sorry, but I don't think I could spend the rest of the evening with someone who didn't believe me. No, I believe you, really. Uh, I won't mention the letter again, okay? We'll call a truce. Oh, listen, I better call the coach house and cancel our reservations. Okay. The babysitter is not going to be here for a while, so um, we'll have plenty of time. Oh, no. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. I, I just like a lot of ketchup, that's all. Oh, stop being polite. They're terrible. You know it. Well, you know, scrambled eggs are very difficult to make. <laughs> You should have tried something simpler, like maybe hard-boiled. <laughs> if the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, then I think I'm lost. Anyway, um, the kitchen isn't my best room in the house. Well, fortunately, we live in an age of specialization. Yes. Oh, look, please, please don't eat those. Let me, let me get rid of that. You know, I just figured it out. The reason my marriage broke up is because I'm a lousy cook. Well, if I had a wife that looked like you, I'd learn to eat out real quick. Obviously, Logan didn't think that way. Now, why did the two of you break up? Is that a legal question? Oh, no. 
No, no, no. My legal questions I ask off of legal pads. No, it's a personal see. question. Uh, Logan never talks about you. Well, I think the reason we broke up is because Logan has absolutely no sense of humor. <laughs> not laughing at your wife's jokes is not grounds for divorce in this state. No, but he, he always took me too seriously. He never understood me. At least not the way I should be understood. Oh, no, 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 no more. Library. Oh, no, I have a history file I'm cramped for, and I mean cramped. Uh -huh. I'll be right back. <clears throat> yeah. Gloria, huh? Mm-hmm. Got a history test? Yeah. How about a quick quiz, okay? Sure. What event happened on January 16th, 1954, which changed the course of American legal history forever? I give up. Cliff Nelson was born. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. I bet you have a lot of jokes you could tell me. Yeah. Look, all the uh, instructions for taking care of Jamie are the same. Mm -hmm. We won't be gone too long, and I'll call you later. Okay, I'll take care of Jamie like he was my own. Okay, good. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I'm the uh, <clears throat> new associate of my car, you know. Uh, why don't you come down the office? I'll show you around. Okay. <laughs> Sweetie, the coast is clear. Okay, bye. Well, looks like you've arrived, Charlie. The place is filling up nicely. I'm gonna do okay, Mr. Dawn. Like I said before, I know what I'm talking about. Now we do have the bar. Are you kidding? They dance, they get thirsty, they drink. Even without this cheap booze we serve, we'd, we'd still do a land off this Whoa, business. I'll <laughs> oh, keep pouring, Charlie. I just saw some familiar faces. It's the story of my life. How about this table, Logan? Have a couple of drinks and a little exercise, huh? Can't figure if I'm overdressed or underdressed. Maybe we should make a car. No, come on. Just give it a chance. It's going to be fun. Yeah. I have well, a second dance. Welcome to the new unicorn. It's hey. um, wonderful. Oh, this is a real funky disco. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Your ranks are a bit depleted here. Don't worry, shame that our dear departed detective Gussie couldn't join in the fun. Only for the moment. Let's dance, Mama. He's not dead. He's only on a sign. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. On the other hand, we have our esteemed district attorney. I'm very pleased that you could make it. The pleasure's all yours. Well, why don't you... Boogie on out to the dance floor, and the first round will be on me. I think I'll leave the boogie into you. I'm not much of a disco type. <laughs> Neither am I. I prefer another kind of exercise. Enjoy it. Proud of me? Didn't hit him. Come on, Logan, let's sit down and have a drink. Forget our problems, okay? Yeah, I guess we might as well, actually. They'll all be there when we're done with our drink. We'll... Hi. What can I get for you? Um, I would like a tequila sunrise, please. Okay. How about for you? Uh, double anything out here. <laughs> uh, Logan, you want to yeah. dance? You know how to disco dance? Come on, let me show you. Looks like I might hurt myself. <laughs> no, you won't. Come on, Raven, give me back my tie, will you? Oh, it gets cold this way. Oh, these people dancing around like chickens with their brains cut them. Is that Logan? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You go to the bar and get us both a drink. No, 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 no. And I'll be right there. Come on, I'll be right there. Exactly. Well, what a surprise. Look who's here. Raven, I consider bumping into you second only to the Titanic and that iceberg. Uh, Raven, there's plenty of room on the dance floor. Why don't you go make use of it? What can I join you to? You gotta be joking. Yeah. We were just on our way to dance. Oh, is that what you were doing? I thought you were trying to get gum off your shoe. <laughs> Come on, love. No, 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 no. Stay here. I want to talk to you. I think I'd rather go to the dentist and have my teeth pulled out without any Novocaine than stand here and talk to you. Logan, don't be bitter. Come on. Now I think that there's some way that we can work this thing out. 
you guys to know first of all this is all business all right i want to take her to dinner but she decided to come here don't worry boss i can handle raven look i gotta soften her up right it's all part of my strategy just don't forget who's supposed to be pumping who for information you are my attorney don't forget that. all right i'll have a little faith will you boss i'm gonna get out of here bumping into raven twice in the same day that's cruel and unusual punishment and what is the great idea walking with this guy's tie around your neck Wait a minute, I think you're being a little sensitive. I'm being a little sensitive. I invite you to my disco. Not only do you show up with a date, but you dump him in favor of Logan without as much as even saying hello to me. I say hello to you. I'm like talking to a brick wall. Elliot, don't be so huffy. Come on now. The only reason I was out with Cliff is because he's Logan's attorney. I thought I could con him into telling me what Logan had up his sleeve. Figures. And I mean, I have to be civil to Logan. I have to keep up appearances. You know, people are no more than pawns to you. I don't use you. Why do you call this rescue mission I did for you this afternoon? An act of love, for which I am very grateful. Honey, show some gratitude. Look, I'll show some gratitude tonight. To whom it may concern, I, Raven Swift, mother of Jameson Swift, do hereby give Mr. and Mrs. Draper Scott full and complete permission to raise my own son as their own son, with complete rights to make any and all decisions on his care. I think I'm going to need this after all, Raven. Days pass without sight. 